Hi all, welcome back to our lecture series. Today we will see the something about sprinkler and micro irrigation system um, which is the continuity of the previous class which comes under the topic automation techniques in agriculture engineering under advanced machinery and equipment in agricultural engineering for the uh, second year and fourth semester students. Um, the previous class we have seen what is micro irrigation system and what are the benefits involved in micro irrigation system and how well the micro irrigation system will help us in uh, increasing the crop yield. Today um, we will see the continuity of different types of irrigation system. As I have said before itself, I have said to you that there are five kinds of micro irrigation systems among which the most commonly used irrigation system is sprinkler. A sprinkler irrigation system is a method of applying water to the crops or the landscapes through overhead sprinklers. This system usually consists of pipes, pumps, valves and sprinkler heads that distribute the water across the area to be irrigated. Here are the benefits of certain uh, sprinkler irrigation systems that is uniform water distribution which is uh, happening due to the sprinklers uh, distribute water evenly over the irrigated area ensuring that uniform coverage and preventing them from the water wastage. Um, it is versatile as they can be adapted to various terrain types and crop layouts making them to be suitable for for a wide range of applications. The frost protection is the next very big advantage that is it can be used to protect the crops from frost damage by applying the water which usually releases latent heat as it is freezed thus preventing the temperature from dropping too low. The next is dust suppression uh, where the sprinkler systems can help control the dust on roads, construction sites and other open areas by wetting the surface and the down the particles. It also helps in cooling that of the climate that is cooling for outdoor spaces such as parks, sports fields and recreational areas. It is also a cost effective one while the initial installation costs are significant sprinkler systems can be automated and require relatively low maintenance resulting in a long term cost savings. This will also help us to provide a increased crop yield and uh, this uh, this is why the my uh, sprinkler irrigation systems are most commonly used due to its uniform water distribution versatility and the ability to protect against frost and dust the next uh, common uh, micro irrigation system rather than that of sprinkler is drip irrigation system. This method delivers the water directly to the root zone of the plants through a network of tubes, uh, emitters and walls. Um, some benefits are similar to that of sprinkler irrigation is water efficiency as the waters are precisely uh, made distributed to the roots of the plant minimizing evaporation and runoff and also which helps us to conserve the water. Um, this also reduces the weed growth by and also it improves the plant health. Some drip irrigation system usually delivers fertilizers or nutrients directly to the root zone ensuring the optimal plant nutrition. This will help us to provide a protection towards soil erosion and water resource management. It is also a very common under energy saving as this requires a lower water pressure compared to that of the sprinkler systems which helps in reducing the energy consumption uh, for pumping water. Um, this is why the drip irrigation system is adopted uh, when compared to the top sprinkler irrigation system. The next system which we have to see is spray micro irrigation system. This system is a method of applying water to the crop or a landscape through high pressure sprayers or nozzles. This is similar to that of the sprinkler irrigation system. Um, this will help us to maintain uniform water distribution, versatility and cooling the surrounding environment by dust suppression and also it uh, keeps in hand um, similar to that of sprinkler a 
um, frost protection. Um, this will help us to increase the crop yield as said uh, in sprinkler irrigation system itself. The next one is bubbler micro irrigation system. This is otherwise known as bubbler irrigation uh, which delivers the water to the plant through bubbles or the porosite capsules placed at the root zone. This is a common system which is similar to that of brick a drip irrigation system this provides the water in a very precise manner where the water is directed directly towards the root zone of the plant ensuring them efficiency in water by minimizing the wastages this reduces the evaporation that could happen um, because most of the water are delivered close to the ground and at a slow rate and uh, since due to which this helps us to reduce the evaporation compared to that of the overhead sprinkler irrigation systems. This will also help us to provide a soil erosion prevention um, by delivering water evenly and gently to the root zone reducing the runoff making it a very flexible and suitable for sloped terrain. The last one is subsurface irrigation system which delivers the water directly to the root zone of the plants underground. The above four systems which we have seen are above the ground surface level but this system um, acts as a transferring of water under the subsurface uh, that is under the root zone. Um, this is usually typically uh, done through buried pipes, tubes and drip lines. Um, these uh, advantages which are involved under sprinkler and uh, drip uh, also plays a vital role in subsurface irrigation system. Most of the benefits achieved at the surface irrigation systems are common to that to the subsurface irrigation system. This is what I have prepared for today's class. Uh, see you at the next class. Thank you.